morning students welcome back to our digital class myself mrs shogufta sheik subject teacher of evs1 as we have already started with our lesson number 5 water for every household we have finished with the two parts of this lesson and now we will continue our lesson in our previous video we had seen how using pipes water can be distributed to several different places at the same time and also how water is distributed for a human settlement and now we will proceed further students now we will see water tanks at a height we know that water usually flows in downward direction but if we want to lift water upward what we will do we have to use some force to do that we need to use a machine machines used for lifting water are called pumps these pumps run on diesel or electricity before electricity was discovered it was not possible to raise water to a very great height but with the help of electric pump it is possible to do so due to this water can be filled in tanks at a height that is water towers and supplied from there to towns and cities here in the picture can you see these are called water towers here we will see journey of water from source to house students for what purpose tanks are used tanks are used to store water that leads the water purification plant through big pipes water is released for some time from the tanks according to the need of people the pipe branches out into smaller and smaller pipes which take water to every house students do you know we human beings cannot live without water therefore it is necessary to have sources of water as close as possible where we live that is why in olden days cities grew on the banks of big rivers there are many such cities in our country as we all know delhi is the capital of our country it is situated on the banks of river yamuna in north india patna on the banks of ganga in bihar and nashik in maharashtra on the banks of godavari these are other examples of such ancient cities students even today in some places water is drawn from wells or bore wells for use at home it needs to be ensured that water is potable what do we mean by potable yes safe drinking water if it is not it should be boiled for the purpose of drinking so that it does not affect our health in some places water is supplied by transporting it by means of tanker students can you tell me how much water is required in your house every day who fills this water as we all know water is required for many different purpose such as drinking bathing washing cooking cleaning etc so you will observe in your house how much water you all requires at home and how it is filled try this at your home take an empty bucket lift it to get an idea of its weight now half fill it with water and see how much heavier it becomes it must be quite a hard core to carry a bucket full of water from one place to another don't you agree remember how much water you need in your house now 
you can understand how much work is done to fill that much water now let me check can you answer me which fuel is used to run the following machine first is the hand pump that lifts water from a bore well have you all seen the hand pump which fuel is used yes it is a hand pump we need our hand that is our muscular energy second the pump used to store in the water tower this we have seen now yes we need electricity or diesel third one the tanker that brings water to a certain area for tanker which fuel is required yes we need diesel as tanker runs on diesel students now we will learn more about what can we do to use water without wastage or how can we reduce the wastage of water as we all know water is valuable and we should take good care of it just as we take care of our other valuables here are some question for you first one if the water you have taken in a mug to wash your face is left over will you throw it away or keep it to use later what you will do we should not throw away that water it can be used for other purpose also while you brush your teeth do you keep the tap running or do you turn it off in between we should keep the tap off while brushing and while washing your mouth you can turn it on here is the next question for you do you throw away the water used for washing vegetables fruits etc or do you water your plants with it we should reuse the water it can be used for gardening purpose also next is when rinsing things under a tap do you turn it on fully or just enough do not turn the tap full how much you required turn that much only now use your brain power the garden is to be watered tap water and well water are both available what will you use as we have learned before we receive tap water after purification process and distribution system it involves lot of expense and labor well water is better option to water the garden therefore you have to use well water for watering the garden here we have finished with our lesson hope you all might have understood the lesson kindly subscribe our channel to receive further notification thank you